What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out 10 of the best mods out for Fabric 1.17.1 right now. These are some pretty incredible mods and I think would all be super fun to play with. So let's get right into today's video. You may have already noticed that the terrain of this world is slightly different than a vanilla world and that is because I'm using the William Withers Overhauled Overworld mod. This mod changes the world generation completely and in a very beneficial way, I think. All of this looks incredible. I love how the trees, forests, and mountains spawn in this mod. It's definitely a very cool mod to just change up how your world actually generates. Especially if you look around at these mountains and things generating around this lake. Very cool features and definitely something I would love to have in my own survival world. I'm also using shaders for today's video, these are the complimentary shaders and I'll put a link for them down in the description below. And that pretty much brings us right into our second mod of the day and that is the Soaring Structures 2 mod. This mod is very cool, it generates floating islands above your world in random places and these islands are going to have ores all over the bottom of them and will also have structures on the top that can contain loot. These are pretty high up in the air but they contain some pretty good loot so it's probably worth it to build your way up to them or if you have an elytra to fly to them as well. Inside you can find chests that may even contain enchanted diamond tools like this sword that I found in this chest right here. There are multiple kinds of structures that can generate and as you can see they look very cool floating above the rest of the world. Next up we are looking at the graveyards mod and this mod adds graveyards across your world that you can stumble upon which will contain different buried items including chests full of bones and rotten flesh and possibly even mob spawners. The chests can have anything from just bones in them to rotten flesh and of course some really good items such as tools and totems of undying. I love structure mods that add just small things to the game that you can find in your own world and I think something small like this is a great add to the world because it also adds a little bit of difficulty since some of them contain spawners. This mod also adds a new mob, the Skeleton Creeper, which I think looks absolutely terrifying but would be a really cool addition to the game. Next up we are looking at I Need More Inventory Space, otherwise known as INMIS, and this is a backpack mod that adds a bunch of different backpacks to your game. You can start off with the frayed backpack and slowly upgrade it all the way to the endless backpack which you actually need a dragon head for. You can also get the ender pouch which actually gives you a way to access your ender chest inventory with a small pouch that's just in your own inventory. So if you hate the inventory system of Minecraft currently, this is a great mod for you. Next up we have Gilded Armor, which allows you to actually craft netherite armor, but with hints of gold in it, which looks extremely cool and is also super useful for when you're traveling to the nether. I think that this is actually a feature that should be in vanilla Minecraft already, since it allows you to keep your good armor while also avoiding piglins, which since it's netherite armor should definitely be a feature in the actual game. With this mod you'll no longer have to sacrifice your armor in order to actually avoid the piglins, but of course if you open one of the chests in the bastions you're still going to have some major problems to deal with. The next mod we are looking at is the End Remastered mod, and this is actually one of my favorite mods that has ever been added to Minecraft. I've actually played with this mod a lot, and it is super fun. It adds 12 new Ender Eyes which you actually have to find across your world in order to open up the Ender Portal, and it changes the stronghold into an above ground structure with puzzle rooms and a bunch of things that you have to work through in order to get to the End Portal. This mod basically forces you to go out and explore your world and find all these Eyes of Ender before you can actually go in and fight the dragon. This makes getting to the end slightly more difficult and adds a really fun adventure to your world and the overall structure of this mod looks incredible as well and they definitely spent a lot of time detailing the structure that they actually put into the game. Next up we are looking at Charm which adds a ton of features to the game and if you want the full list definitely go check out the links in the description below so you can read everything that this mod adds because it is a lot. As you can see here I've just set up some of the new blocks in the game such as the Ender Pearl block, the Ebony doors, and as you can see all different kinds of bookshelves made with different kinds of wood. You can craft bookshelves as well, which allows you to store enchanted books in them so you can keep those near your enchantment table and looking very nice blending in with all the other bookshelves as well. This mod adds so much more though including different variations of mob textures, so definitely go and check out everything that it adds before you download it. 
The next mod we are looking at is Secret Rooms, and this mod adds a bunch of secret room features that you can use to hide your base. These are all super creative, and the first one we're going to look at here is the Dirt Door. You can craft doors of pretty much every block that will blend in with the surrounding area, such as dirt doors, stone doors, and so much more, and it's going to help you hide your base. This is also one-way glass. On the outside, it looked like oak wood, but on the inside, we can see it is plain glass. There are also ghost blocks as well, like this wall right here that you can walk right through even though it is or looks like a solid wall. This mod would be great if you're playing on a server with friends or have a realm or something together where you can actually hide your bases from everybody else on the server. Next up, have you ever wondered how YouTubers get smooth camera paths like this one here? Well, that would be through the use of the replay mod. This mod is super popular on servers such as Hermitcraft and Empires, where they actually use this to produce all their time lapses and things like that. This is the control panel for the mod, and as you can see, I can change the speed of the actual video that I'm watching right here, and on the bottom bar, I can completely change how the actual time lapse works. If you want a full tutorial of this, Pixelriffs has a video of it on his channel, or rather two videos, where he shows you how to install and actually use the entire mod. It's a really simple mod to use, but can be a little confusing at first if you don't know what all the buttons do. All of these mods are compatible with Fabric, which isn't really compatible with Optifine. So the last mod that we're going to talk about today is OptiFabric, which does allow you to use Optifine with Fabric and all the mods. And as you can see here, I'm using Optifine to use shaders and things like that, while also using the Replay mod. So if you're looking to use shaders with the Replay mod, OptiFabric is definitely the easiest way to go about that. That is all that we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well. If you want to check out any of these mods, the links are all in the description down below. And I'll put a link to the shaders I'm using as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.